about objections. So a lot of the uh, my students or my, my my clients, when they talk to employers, this is some of the things they heard all the time. Is one is, um, hey, I like you, but you don't have enough experience, um, so I can't hire you. So this this tends to occur quite often. So um, yeah. I don't know if you have experienced something similar when employers said, you know, they've been impressed with your profile, but the fact that you don't have much experience, it kind of turned them off. So what would you say in that case if employers say so? Okay, yeah, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. When they say you don't have enough experience, it is quite a, it's quite an easy way out when they say that because, you know, <laughs> my advice would be to pick up what they're saying and try to, to, to speak to what they're not saying. So, for example, if, if they say, oh, I really like you, but you don't have enough experience, say, okay, well, let's not worry about the experience part yet. What can I do about the fact that you like my personality to get me into a position where I can get more experience for you? you know, does that mean I have to start off in a, in a lesser role in which I can learn just from exer- observing what happens in the office or the environment? It's really just saying, okay, I, I accept that you want someone with more experience, but what can I do? But you speak to them. What can I do in your company mm. that would ne- that would not necessarily require that experience to do the job yet? But maybe if there's a, a a lower ranking position, which if you hang around for a couple of months, they'll get you there. Wow! Wow! So yeah. rather than just giving up immediately, isn't it? You can just ask them, have a conversation with them, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Uh- and, yeah. and, and also sometimes it's just, it could be just talking back and say, look, I understand that you want someone with more experience, but the reality is I don't have that experience and I'm looking for someone to give me that experience to start off with, you know, and you just have to kind of tell them at the same time and try to convince them just because they say no, doesn't mean you can still try to potentially explain to them why their reason is not hundred percent, you know, clear. Wow. And I think I think what you said was such a great thing because uh, I think people tend to give up the moment they hear the word no. Yeah. You know, the moment they hear an employee say no, they put their arms down, they put their guts down, and 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 they're just like, oh, that's it, game over. Yeah. 